My name is Manolis Kellis. I'm a professor of computer science at MIT, and I'm an institute member of the Broad Institute. My research is on understanding the molecular basis of human disease, understanding the mechanism through which disease acts, and manipulating these mechanisms in order to reverse the symptoms of a disease. So biology used to be the science of plants, the science of animals, the science of viruses, the science of bacteria, and then suddenly we saw a unification of biology as, as sort of the field started focusing more at the molecular level, at the DNA level, where suddenly we see a lot of unification of the different gene regulatory processes and how the cell actually works. Um, in disease, uh, and in the study of human disease, we're starting to see a very similar trend where we're now starting to actually realize that there are unifying principles underlying all of these major disorders that have been traditionally studied very separately. And that unifying principle is actually stemming from the sequencing of the human genome itself. So by sequencing the human genome, the ability to actually start studying genetic differences between individuals and to link those differences into whether we have a predisposition to cancer or Alzheimer's disease or schizophrenia is actually uh, translating now into insights as to how these diseases are actually working at the molecular level. And why is that important? Because that's where the drugs act. That's where therapeutics act. So if we want to develop new therapeutics that are based on the science and on the understanding of the human genome, we actually need to start at the cellular level. We need to start at the molecular level and understand what are the differences in our DNA that actually lead to differences in the way that we respond to the environment and the way that disease uh, you know, manifests itself in different individuals. We can benefit from the last 10 plus years of human genetic work that has given us more than a thousand different regions of the human genome that are now robustly associated with differences in how uh, disease strikes upon us. And what we can see is that these regions of the DNA that are predisposing us to disease are not affecting the genes directly. What they're doing is that instead they're affecting the switches, the control switches that turn these genes on and off. So in 93% of cases, the genetic differences that predispose us to disease do not affect the protein of the surrounding genes. So that means that in 93% of cases, we actually don't know how these genetic differences act. We don't know what even the target gene might be. We don't know what cell type they might be acting in. And that's where my work comes in, in understanding the circuitry of the human genome. So what we have done over the last 10 plus years is actually develop a series of techniques for understanding the human genome, which include comparison of multiple species to basically look at what are the places of the human genome that are the most conserved across evolution. That includes comparison of the epigenome of different cell types to basically look at what are the genes and what are the switches, these control switches that are on and off in different cell types, and doing this across more than a hundred different human cell types. So now bringing the two together, bringing the genetic signals from each disease and bringing the epigenomic signals and the circuitry signals from each of the cell types, we can start asking what are the cell types that are responsible for each of the genetic traits? And how can we actually link the two to understand at a more fundamental level the molecular basis for how these genetic differences act. And that's what unifies our work across many different disciplines because we can actually work with scientists who are focusing on specific cell types or who are focusing on specific diseases and apply these very general tools for understanding the circuitry of each of these diseases and how that circuitry manifests itself for um, each of the, in each of the cell types and for each of the diseases.